What a what a what a what is up YouTube? How's it been? How's it going? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Huh? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. No, really, I'm okay. Um, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Okay, what do I got in front of me? I got a bunch of wings. Over here is the aftermath of round one. You see these bones? They're very clean. I pride myself on being a good wing eater. Okay, it's 2023, guys. Smooch crew. If anybody, I want the Smooch crew to be the best wing eaters in the nation. We gotta stop leaving even a shred of meat on the bone of our wings. We gotta eat everything. I'm looking over here. The camera's over here. I don't I do not do these a lot, I'm sorry. Um, but fear not. You probably don't know how to eat wings like your boy Baylor does. I eat. I'm pretty good at it. Um, but I'm gonna teach you guys today. It's gonna be a short video. It's an impromptu video, I, didn't even, I just thought of this. I'm watching some basketball, sorry, it's a little loud. Anyway, drop in the comments below, what are y'all doing tomorrow? I'm posting this on Saturday, February 10th. I think that's the day, February 10th. Or is it 11th? Anyway, tomorrow's the Super Bowl. So would you let me know how you spend in the Super Bowl. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I'm about to teach you how to eat a wing. Okay, my hands are going to get a little messy, so I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm going to teach you how to eat a wing. Okay, uh, I can maybe do two examples. I can maybe do two examples. One of the drumstick, one of the flats. The flats are the fun the fun ones to eat, I think. They're easier, maybe. Okay. Oh, stop sliding on me. Okay. Anyway, maybe bad angles, but it's okay. So we'll start with a drum here. Start with an easy drum, okay? You can dip it in sauce if you want to. You don't really have to. I won't do it in no sauce. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do no sauce, but let's do this. Okay. Let's eat a drum, okay. So here's how you see your drum. You just start by getting most of the meat off, right? Just do that. This is the easy part. Tastes good, yeah. I got these wings at Sam's, like a tray of 50 of them. And I was like, hmm, I've sweat a lot today, burned a lot of calories. Haven't eaten at all. And it was like 6 p.m. And I was like, hmm, let me eat all these before the day's over. And so I think I'm going to. Anyway, let's keep working. And guys, if you run into any cartilage, eat it, okay? Eat it. Eat it. Sorry. Sorry. Um, volume warning. Fast forward. Volume warning. Okay, rewind. Now be volume warning. Cartilage is good for you. Probably. It is. And it's edible. And I feel primal when I eat cartilage. I feel like liver king. And I feel primal when I do what I'm about to do next. Whenever this is all gone. I'm going to show you. So, I'm eating pretty slow. But usually, I tear these up. So... Just get all the meat off. This little tip here. Well, most people probably don't know this. Just because I, I don't think they do. I eat a lot of rotisserie chicken. So I've just experienced this a lot. At the end of like every bone, at least for the wings and drumsticks, wings and legs. At the end of every bone, it's still the bone, but it's edible. I'll explain. So... Eat the end of this. Like, you'll be able to find out with your teeth. And there's like a hard part of the bone, obviously the middle. But the ends of these bones are pretty soft. You can actually eat them and get some of that bone marrow in there. And it, it's an acquired taste, maybe. But it tastes pretty good. So just literally feel it out. Like, mmm, where can I bite into? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Right there. So I ate some of the bone. You see? That's the bone marrow. And it's kind of a little more chew. Grow up. And eat it. I don't care. I don't care if you cut your throat up. Grow up. Chew it better. Whatever. You see, look. That's going to allow us to get all that meat off. Because that's kind of where the tendons are sometimes, maybe, I think. I don't know chicken physiology. You'll have to excuse me. Maybe my roommate does. He's a health and exercise science major. I can ask him later. Um, but that's what's holding some of that meat on sometimes. So if you get it off, you'll get all that meat. So here's the other end. I'll try and eat the bone here. Mmm. Uh huh. Mmm. It's a little hard with these drumsticks, but you can kind of tell when it's like darker. Is when it's like 
maybe like the marrow's closer. It's like a thinner, like a thinner wall of the bone. I have no clue, but all I know is I eat it. And so, there we go. You can kind of figure it out. And it's like, it's not hard. It's pretty soft. And so, I just eat it. Sometimes I probably eat parts of the bone I shouldn't. But yeah, I'll just eat it. And then, yeah, you see that? Like, that's bone marrow. And then, for all the stuff on the sides, I can kind of like run my finger up the bone. Can I just take it off? Okay. Mm. And just, I just do, at this point, it's just doing your due diligence and getting every shred of meat off that bone. Okay? God gave us these chickens, guys, for us to rule over the beasts of the land and of the sky and of the sea. So, let's return the favor and be thankful that they gave up their lives for us and eat every darn ounce of their meat because it's good and it's good for you. Literally, all the bones in here. This is what the this is what the bones of the flats look like after I'm done. Very similar, okay? They're just twigs, because I'm an animal, and I chew them all off. So I'm gonna try a flat, I'm gonna show you a flat. There's a cool trick you can do with the flats here. Well, I can't really show you. But you can kind of pinch the flat, push it down on the table. I'll kind of, okay, I'll, I'll kind of show you. Find out where those two bones are, because there's only two bones in the flats, and they're way easier to eat. Those drumstick bones are a little harder. So I grab those two bones, run your fingers along the length of those bones, and you'll kind of unlock the meat from the bone. You see that? It's like the bones are right there. I'm kind of just pushing down on it. Maybe use two hands. It's whatever. Let's see, look. Now it's like all unlocked. I'm going to dip it in my sauce. Sugar-free barbecue sauce and sriracha. Pretty good. Mmm. All at once. But look. Still got more meat. There's still more to go. Right here. Find the end of these bones. Eat them. Mm, let's see. Okay. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. End of the bone. Just comes right off. Easy. You can kind of work some of that marrow out if you want. But, hold on. I lost. <laughs> it's really good. Just, and then just, there's some meat on there. <laughs> Just run your fingers along the length of the bone, it'll come right off. Deets all that. I don't even know. Okay. Mmm. Look at that. Okay. This is how you do it. Okay. I don't make the rules. But I'm going to tell you the rules. This is what a clean bone looks like. Alright. Ain't nothing left. Hardly. Mmm. And I just eat it. Bone marrow is good for you. I know about beef bone marrow. Never really had beef bone marrow, but I ate a lot of chicken bone marrow, that's for sure. I eat like at least one rotisserie chicken a week. And I'm talking, I buy it from Sam's. If y'all don't know Sam's, Costco, same thing. I buy the $5 chicken from Sam's. I sit down and I delete it in one sitting. It's gone. It's like mostly protein. Good at that, protein about it so you'd think it's a good amount of calories one at sam's i've done the math they're around 1600 calories for the whole thing 220 grams of protein so oh yeah you can't get your protein in <laughs> you buy a chicken i'll sit you down and make sure you get that protein in okay you eat it until it's gone i eat the cartilage i eat the bone marrow sometimes the poor thing doesn't stand a chance anyway that was a video I wanted to make for you guys real quick. I'm going to eat the rest of these in the same fashion before they get too cold. That's how you eat bones, guys. That's how you eat chicken wings and flats and drumsticks. Okay? If you guys want any more eating tutorials, if you're unfamiliar with eating, one, I'm kind of impressed because how did you make it this far? And two, just let me know down in the comments. Well, all right, guys. See you later.